Aloha, this is Martina Wing, live from Hawaii. It's Wednesday, 11 o'clock. Um, ready again for to talk about the manta rays. Well, there's one manta ray. Of course, I have another one right here. So I always, I love these creatures so much. Um, I'm here in Kona, Hawaii. Um, I want to just show you a map real quick. Um, here on the big island. And I live in Kalua, Kona. And I'm so, so fortunate and um, that I am with the manta rays for almost... Hey, Tara. Tara is here. I knew it. Um, I'm so fortunate to swim with the man race for almost 20 years um, in every capacity, like dive master, uh, swim guiding, educating, advocacy. But my main part has always been um, imagery, um, underwater photography, and I have lots to share with you guys. So that's what I do on every Wednesday. And hi, Tara. Thanks for the comment. So if you're here live with me today, uh, I want to talk about um, the global um, threats and efforts uh, that are done for the man race. And so leave a comment so I know you're here, so I can say hi. Uh, I love to interact with everybody around the world. Um, last week we talked about Big Bertha. I really, really enjoyed how I got the comments from all over the world, from Denmark to um, Florida to, I mean, really New Zealand. Everybody was from the world interested in um, about the man race and the few things I have to say. And uh, of course, this is very encouraging. So keep doing this. I leave comments if you watch this um, either live or in... Um, while you watch the replay. So yeah, I'm uh, with the man race every day um, and uh, I just always have this chance when I talk to my customers um, to not only bring them to a really, really beautiful place and uh, for most people a bucket list item, I also always have the chance to instill even more that we have to do more for the planet, that this is a, is a place that we have to um, protect and um, especially when people see man race, then it's a beautiful place to um, people fall in love with the animal and then they go and uh, want to protect even more. I think that's a famous saying from someone somewhere, um, but I can't remember right now. Anyway, so what I'm going to do today, I want to give you some bad. I have some graphic images because I want to do drill down what, what's going on um, around the world. Um, Kona itself as ecotourism is actually shining light in the world to um, bring people to the manor race and see them. Um, but other places in the world that do hunt manta rays. So I have some graphic images once I switch the camera around. And the other one is uh, I want to give you three examples how governments around the world are actually doing something. And I want to give you some tips how to, how you can make a difference. Yeah. Alrighty. So, um, so first thing, I'm going to switch the camera around and um, we'll show you some graphic images. So be ready for that. And then the next thing uh, is some other stuff as well. So I'm going to switch around. Give me a second. I have to find the button. Just a, just a second. All right. So um, in 2016, I actually was with um, a dive master here on a regular basis. And he's now a world traveler. And so we were on the Manoray dive always together. And he sent me these pictures from Southeast India uh, in March. So these images were taken by him. It's not as I grabbed them somewhere from Google. Um, these are images, and he sent them to me in March, and of course, I'm so sad about this. But um, these are the images of the fishing fleet that are in Southeast India um, going for manta rays, or actually, in this case, were mobile rays. So um, the next pictures, uh, next three pictures I'll show you are pretty graphic, um, where he was at the harbor, and he was just looking um, what these guys were fishing for. And uh, here we go. Here's a mobile arrays, um, yeah, and not just one, several. Um, these are much smaller than manta rays, but they're all in the same family. And um, it's just really, really cool. Um, he also told me um, that the manta rays uh, were killed as well. Some people, some manta rays were cut in half. And uh, he was wondering if it was about organs and stuff like that. So um, not very pretty, and I'm not going to leave them on the screen to too long. But um, this is the bad I wanted to show you today. What happens, fisheries around the world are supplying. Um, I'm going to go back to another picture so it's a little bit prettier for you guys. Um, um, yeah, so I'm just going back to this picture here right now. Um, oh, I'm not really ready for this. Okay, so I just want to give you a little bit more story to this. Um, the um, manta rays um, are fished for around the world. Um, and in the Chinese market, it's just so big that they um, want manta rays for their gill rakers and their, um, that they dry them up and take them as an aphrodisiac for the Chinese medicine, traditional medicine. That's what I know about this. 
So um, it's um, fisheries all around the world. Um, if they fish out all the fish around the um, coastline, then they have the problem that they uh, want to go for other fish. And in this case, man rays, or in this case, mobile rays, but then uh, man rays as well. Alrighty, so this was the bad. And um, then I did get an email yesterday, or actually this morning, that was a Facebook post. Um, and I have to get to this real quick. Um, Facebook post is this one. Um, where our dive master here from Kona, Josh Lambus, and here uh, I talked to him, I texted him this morning. He allowed me to use these images to this image too. And guess what? Last night he was at Garniel Cove at our Manta site and he saw a man ray coughing up a, uh, like a um, softball size um, mushy thing. And uh, most of it, he said, was what actually came out of this mouth, of the man ray's mouth, was uh, plastic. And these plastic pieces were really, really small, but he was able to keep these, get these three pieces. It's a piece of rope, more rope, and this is, for, he says, a quarter, quarter size piece of plastic that came out of the mouth of one of our local manorays last night. So um, I do talk about global problems today, but actually it's a, it's a local problem for us already too. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, we are discussing this on the Facebook post right now. There will be more. I took the comments out. But um, this is the state of uh, what's going on in our oceans. Uh, plastic everywhere. And it's just, um, yeah, it's devastating. Alrighty, so I want to move on to something, the good. All right, so the good is over here because in 2014 it had actually, I think, has it's about the same time when this movie Racing Extinction was coming out. I'm going to talk about this movie here in a second. But Indonesia announced the world's largest sanctuary for man rays. So um, governments around the world are actually working on these um, problems. And uh, some governments faster, some governments are slower. But I do want to show you that there are three really, really big sanctuaries for man rays. And this is here in Indonesia. Then Obama, I'm sure you guys are all aware of that. He, Obama created the largest protected planet, place on the planet in Hawaii. And I really have a hard time to say that name, but it's Papa Hanaumokua Kea. Um, and it's um, a really, really, um, it's the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. And it's a huge area that he even created bigger than it's ever been um, to have sanctuaries for these animals. Um, and then, this is only four days old. This is really cool. And we posted about this out the other day. Mexico created also a huge national park to protect the marine life. So the Mexicans are um, following up to, everybody understands that we cannot keep taking out the fishies uh, in the numbers we do take out. We need to have places that uh, the animals can recoup and have just a safe place. And fisheries are just not going for it. Alrighty, and then I always, when I have my customers at night, I always talk about this particular movie. It's called Racing Extinction. Um, this movie came out in 2014. I think it uh, was one of the biggest film festivals, um, Sundance. Um, and I really, this is actually one of my call to actions today for you guys, one of the tips. I want you to watch this movie. What does this movie do? Well, it really puts a spotlight on the problem we created for ourselves here on this planet that in about 150 years, we're creating our own man-made extinction. And hey, Julia, hi, how are you doing? Thanks for watching. Um, with, um, yeah, I am just lost my thought. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Julia, but um, I just have to. So with Racing Extinction, um, they put a spotlight on all the dimension that it has, what we are just doing wrong on this planet. And uh, they put the spotlight on the problem that if in about 20 or 30 years, 50% of our um, species are gone. I mean, think of this, 50% of our species, that's a big number. They're gone, gone. And if I think about the man rays, especially man rays are such a slope reproductive animal, I just, uh, you know, this is, this is going to be gone too. And uh, if, if you love man rays as much as I do, and I know that you guys do it too, you know, we can all make a difference. And that's what this movie does really, really well too. It gave us several examples of how people make a difference and there's an example about um, an Indonesian fishing village that used to be just going for all the sharks. And are you familiar with shark finning is usually my question here. I hope so. I'm going to just assume that for now. But it's about taking all the sharks out of the ocean just for the shark fin. And anyway, this Indonesian fishing village was going for the sharks first. And then um, because they almost extinct them along the coastline at that particular fishing village, um, then they were going for the manorays. 
and then two guys, one of them is Sean Heinrichs, he went um, to this fishing village and educated this fishing, uh, the fishermen about how they can make a living actually by just switching to ecotourism. And of course, a shining light here in this is um, our Kona Coast. We are making a living of manta rays, lo looking at the manta rays for almost 30 years. And as much as we have the local problems, I always feel like I'm in the right place to, to bring people joy and um, encouragement and beauty. Um, and yeah, and so they actually were able to switch this Indonesian fishing village to um, ecotourism. Um, the animals will, are not getting killed anymore. That's, exact, that's my information from the movie. I hope it's still the same today. Um, but I, I can try to find out. But what I would like you to guys do is race, watch Racing Extinction. And there are ways to watch it. As, um, here the, there's the website, racingextinction.com. And I'm going to put it all into the into this um, description. Yeah, and there are different ways. You can watch it on Hulu, on DVD, on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, whatever works for you guys. But uh, it was on Discovery Channel one time, um, and I really, really enjoyed um, just the messaging. It's a, it's a very encouraging me messaging that we can all make a difference. All right. Yeah, Julia, hey, I'm so glad you're here. It's late at night in Germany, isn't it? All right, so I'm going to switch back real quick because I want to tell you one more story. Um, thanks for being here today. Um, and then this is then my Facebook Live for today where it's about the good, the bad, the encouraging. You know, I do feel like I'm a critical voice for the man race and so I have to be sometimes be critical. Although Haley, my social media manager, always tells me don't be so down, huh? just be encouraging and be hopeful. And actually that's one of my gifts that I always like to encourage people. So my last story is um, when I have my guests at night, um, I always tell them the story that three years ago I was introduced myself to shark finning and the problem that comes with this, that we really collapse the ecosystem if we continue to taking the sharks out of the ocean in the numbers we do. Um, and then three years ago I started making kind of, it's like of a survey almost. It's I ask my customers, I have 10 customers, I ask them, hey, do you know anything about shark finning? And three years ago, Nobody knew really what um, shark finning is all about. And um, so let's say 10 out of 10 people really didn't know what this, what this means. But in those three years, we, we were able to educate the people that today when I ask the same question, I do it almost every night, my, my guests ask my guests. Nine and, a half, nine and a half out of 10 people, it sounds funny, but let's say it's nine out of 10 people do know what shark finning is. And sometimes if the 10th person says, I'm not so sure, and then we come up and explain a little bit that like, yeah, I've heard about it. So this is a good thing. People are aware that we cannot continue to, we have, there's awareness, you know, we have to do things differently on this planet. And uh, I always want to encourage you to make a difference for your own little world. We can only change our little world. Of course, with Facebook Live, I can reach a lot of people today. And I'm really, really happy about this, how this all works out. Um, and so I always want to, li I like to use this platform as um, to spread the word, um, do your part, um, and then I'm going to give you three tips what you can do today. Um, well, my first tip is watch Racing Extinction, um, just to get the whole picture. And it's not a too cool of a movie. Um, there are a few graphic images, but overall it's kind of really, really cool stuff. Um, yeah, I think a big part is when we talk about the plastic in the ocean, try to create less waste. Um, we can all do it. We just have to make a little tweaking and... I do it all the time too. Uh, I feel sometimes really bad when I take takeout and it's not a, not a restaurant that has the biodegradable uh, packaging. Um, I almost don't really like the food anymore that when I use styrofoam, when I use styrofoam. But sometimes in a pinch, I do it too. I'm not saying I'm not doing it, but um, I always, always try to go, if I go take, take takeout from a place that has the right um, containers, you know. And um, yeah. Spread the word. We can all talk about it. We can maybe share this uh, Facebook post. Um, we can, uh, in your next conversation about uh, shark finning, you say, yeah, I know about it. Uh, watch this movie. Um, there are other movies out there too. And just uh, all do your part. Create more awareness, education. And then um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Thanks for listening. Um, thanks, Julia, for being here. Thanks, um, Tara, for being here. Um, I hope you enjoy this um, conversation. Um, actually, it was a conversation with myself at this point, but um, leave some comments, leave some um, feedback. Um, also, let me know um, if you have watched Racing Extinction, um, if, how it touched you, 
and uh, I always want to um, encourage you to do more. Thanks, Dara. Thanks for that, saying that. Um, I'm sitting here in my studio and it's, uh, there's no feedback. It's all quiet around me. So thanks for saying that. Um, I'll see you next week again. Um, and I uh, haven't decided what I'm going to do, but uh, it's going to be something uh, outside the mini series of uh, threats for the man, to the man race. Um, because, like Haley said, I'm going to do something that is all smileys and good stuff. Thank you guys for being here today and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.